And I just want you to know that the biblical reference of the word schizophrenia, because I have to show you when the Bible was written and it was translated, there are certain words that are there that we call empty. It wasn't called empty in the original writing of the Bible. It was schizophrenia. And it, it really means to have a place that is unoccupied. Jesus said when the devil comes back, he's going to look for a place that is empty, a place that is unoccupied. So in this illustration that Jesus gave, the unclean spirit had left the person. I think we're getting that point now. And it, this means that the, the, the struggle was over. But, but, but did the person find a positive way to, to get his energies back after Satan was gone? There's no more struggle now. It, it's fixed. It's finished. Jesus used this word to describe a heart that was no longer occupied by the devil. He said he found it empty, no longer occupied by the devil. I'm going slow because some of you are taking these notes. It's the most serious notes you will probably ever take as a Christian. I, I am, and I, and I, I am very serious about that. You will hear lessons on being filled with the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, and tithing and giving. But if you don't realize that you have to put Satan away from you and demons away from you on a daily, sometimes twice a daily, and sometimes hourly basis, all of the stuff that you're in, he's going to say, put this in on top of what you heard. He comes back and he's looking and the house is empty, which means he does leave. The evil spirit now had, had gone and the house was empty, Jesus says, because no one was living there. And this would be like moving furniture out of a room. It means there is an unoccupied space that's available. You, 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 you move the couch, somebody comes over who's been over to your house before. They say, you know, something is different. Something is what? Um, you seem to have more room. And, and what, what you say is that what was in this space has now been removed. Most of you as Christians will meet people and see people, communicate with people, be reacquainted with people, reassociated with people who can't tell what it was, but there's something that's empty about you that makes you look like you have more availability, more space, cuter, more attractive, something about you I never noticed before. And then you'll go home when you hear it and put just a little bit more lipstick on it. Was that it? Put a little bit more eyeshadow, get a little bit of hair. You close your eyes and you just like puff. puff. Saying when you start seeing smoke, ladies, that's a little bit too much. When you close your eyes and, 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 and you know, and if you haven't, I always get something out your eye. That's your eyelash. You got this too much. I, I mean, you know, and it ain't none of my business. Okay, because I'm not jealous, but I'm just saying. But you'll see people who will notice something about you. And, 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 and it, it's only, there are only people, now watch this. There are only spirits who used to know what you were. A total stranger won't see the, the empty space because they will just see you for who you now are. Which is why so many of you will always get calls from people who used to be. Are we, are we still okay? So now... If we're looking at this from a biblical point of view, somebody said an idle mind is the devil's workshop. So if, if there's nothing there, it seems that when the mind is not activated with positive spiritual things, I'm going to try to do this real quick with this bag. I'm gonna, okay, here, here, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Let's, let me show you. I'm going to try to show you. Okay. Here this. This is, this is your mind. This is your mind filled with crack. No, I just, a commercial, it came back. I'm sorry. It didn't have anything to do with the sermon. Strike it. Well, this is your mind filled with stuff. Now, now, you say Satan. Let's just, let's just do it like this for a better illustration. You say Satan. You say Satan. No, I'm just. <laughs> oh, you about paying attention pretty good tonight. That is an IBOC trademark right there. That's what we do. Okay, but anyhow, 
there would be a situation in which you might, in your mind, in your mind, you would, ask, you would tell Satan, get out. So when you tell him to get out, see, he's gone. And now your mind is what? It's vacant. It's unoccupied. Now, it looks really, 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 really good. Now keep your focus on that, on that empty suitcase, which is you now without the demons that were upon you. That's like now a space waiting to be filled. Now, when the Holy Spirit is not invited to fill a heart, there is another space for the devil to what? Return. But this time, when he comes back, he realizes it may have been easy to put him out of here. So the Bible says, because you didn't fill it with anything. I mean, you've been coming to church, but you've just been looking at me. You don't ever miss church. You tell people about what a good time we have when you wake up. <laughs> so when he comes back, because you've been coming, but you, you told him to get out. We had altar prayer. You came down with anointed you. He left, but then you did not feel it. And so this time, the Bible said when he comes back, he not only comes back, but he got what? And the sad part is, he's not going to always close it up. Mm -mm. Now he wants to expose you. Now he wants everyone to see just how filthy everything is about you. Why is this like this? Why is this like this, young Christian? Because there's some older Christians that are going to rebel and fight with me. I don't believe. Okay, fine. But some of you that are young Christians right now, why is this like this? Because when you put him out, you didn't fill it with anything. Do you realize you're never going to get a fight for Satan until it's time for you to go into a place where the Word of God is going to be poured into you? Satan will never fight you about going to church, but he will try to kill you about going to a church where you're going to be filled with God's Word. He is not against church. He loves church. But where you're going to be filled, see, once you, and that's why, but before you even get out of your car at church, you say, Satan, in the name of Jesus, I cast you out of my thoughts, my mind. And you walk in church every Sunday. You got to walk in like this, man. Before it's time for the word, you got to walk in like, and I don't care who you are, you got to. I do it. I don't care how good the day is. It has nothing to do with how good the day is. It has everything to do with how strong demons are. Because something is about to be poured into you that you need to store and lock in for next month. That needs to be a habit. When that comes, you got to, you, 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 real quick, real quick, before, you, you got to start just filling it with, you know, just, just God's word, just, just, you get, you get the point, Right? And, and, and it becomes so, it becomes so, so filled by time Satan come back with his partners. Hey, I know church ought to be out, but. Oh, she was sitting up in church looking stupid, but she was getting it. He was looking all crazy, but he was. And then what's going to happen during the week? Somebody say, can I use your flower? Say it. Sure. Because that's what it's for. So somebody say, can I use some of your steps? Sure. So, see, and during the week and all those times, all the stuff that's been poured into you, you know, it's being used because that's why God is pouring his spirit into you. So you can be a blessing. Somebody say, can I have some tissue? Sure, 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 sure. Look at you in. Now, this is Wednesday. 
Pastor, why do you ask us to buy CDs and DVDs? Because between Sunday and next Sunday, you, you got to put something back in there. Yeah, you saved and great for five or six days. Are you listening to me? That's the scenario. A person must take the initiative. Once you tell Satan to get out, now you must be strong enough within yourself to hang a sign that says, I ain't available, fool. I am not available. You got to walk around. I don't care how ugly it looks. You got to. Your sign won't be neat because you've been crying. Your sign won't be trimmed all out. It may not have the right border. It may not have the right colors. But as long as you have it on, Satan said, I. Oh. So you got to wear your sign.